All right, here's our new project here at Plus 8 Precision. Uh, this is the cross side lead screw and nut. Very worn. I don't know if I can get a good shot in there. But you can see there's not very much thread in there. And then when I engage it, you'll see there's a lot of play there so what am I gonna do I'm thinking maybe as a quick fix to get the lathe up and running and make a new nut um, I'm thinking about using two-part epoxy, not like a JB Weld, but a more solid two-part epoxy. Uh, let me grab it and I'll show you what I mean. This is it. It's a two-part epoxy. Um, this is the outside and the inside, the filler and the hardener, all in one little roll. You just kind of mix it together and it sets pretty good in about 12 to 15 minutes. It's a non-shrinking formula. Um, I think you can get it for about 10 or 12 bucks a tube or roll, whatever you prefer, on Amazon. I'll try to put a link in there on the bottom uh, just for ease of finding it. But I'm going to use that, mix it up, uh, squish it in there really good. This has already been cleaned with brake cleaner. And the same thing with the uh, lead screw has been cleaned with the brake cleaner. But when I have this little tool, yeah, if you recognize it, leave it down in the comments. But anyhow, I'm going to place bits of it and compress it down into the threads. Since this isn't a liquid and it won't just automatically fill up the threads, you have to press it. And then push the lead screw through it, twist it in there. Uh, I will put some grease on here. Nothing fancy. I was looking for some paste wax or something, but I don't have any. But I'll just brush that in down here on these threads making sure it fills all the way down to the root covering everything good put that in there and then let it sit for the 10 or 12 15 minutes so it'll harden up all right let me get prepared put some gloves on because this stuff will stick to your skin it's almost like crazy glue it has to wear off doesn't clean off and um, I'll turn you back on all right, we're going to start off by putting the grease on the end of the lead screw. So let's just go ahead and all I'm doing is dabbing some on here. Don't need anything crazy. You always want to get out your loose hairs from your brush. You don't want to leave that in your project. I think that should be good for that. Okay, here we are mixing the stuff. You just want to keep kneading it. If it's cold, this stuff will get really hard. It's cold outside. And what you can do is just kind of keep the tube in your pocket till it warms up that way it'll be easier to knead together like this but you're just trying to get an even color and then like I said we're gonna we're gonna try to get this smashed in the threads if it'll work don't know whether it's going to work or not. This is kind of hard to do. So we're going to resort to something else, which is called just getting it in there before everything hardens up. 
Okay. So. Now, try to put the screw in this one. Okay, so just kind of take these and we'll leave them sit here and that'll be our barometer for how hard it is. Let's see if I can tip the camera up a little bit. There we go. Okay, all there is now is to wait. So I'll turn you back on in 10 or 15 minutes and this will be hard like a rock and we'll see what happens. Okay, here we are after uh, 15 or 20 minutes or so. So you can see it's pretty hard. Well, I guess we're going to have to try a little hard in order to get that off of there. Uh, let me grab a crescent wrench. Okay, well that's loose then. That's a good sign. So let's... You get a light I can't even see in there. Oh, it looks like crap. I don't think it's a good one. I mean you got some some epoxy in there and some voids in there and let's let's put it back on here and Well, it's definitely crooked, though. I don't know if it was that. I didn't pay attention to it, I guess, that much before. I mean, if this actually was to work uh, with any length or longevity, I mean, this is where the most wear is, and that's what I'm trying to get to to see how much play there is. There's still, you can feel it, but it's nowhere near what it was. Well, I guess the only test is to uh, put it back together and see if it 
if it's true I don't know if it's true like I said it looks it looks like it's at an angle and I don't remember if it had a slight angle before so I don't want to definitely say it's a success because I don't know if it is and even if it was right now that don't mean it's gonna last so let me uh, let me clean some of this up and I'll get this back off and I'll start putting it together all right, let's uh, put it back together and see what happens. Okay, so that's on. Uh, let's take off this chip cover. I know this is not pretty, but I'm not going crazy with it.
were like a four or five. And that's kind of dependent on where it's at on the screw. Um, but that's much better than it was. Before this thing, you could move this thing an eighth of an inch. And now you can hear it, but it's not moving a whole lot. Um, again, this is a temporary fix. I just so want to see how it works. Tool post back on, which I do have something in the works for a new tool post. Because this tool post is not worth a darn.